Van D, a dynamic leader with decades of experience building companies and crushing sales. He's been there and done that. Ladies and gentlemen, hello, my name is Van D. Inspiring audiences across the country to do it too. Here's Van. Well, welcome everybody. Man, am I glad you're with me today. I've got a topic, ladies and gentlemen. This is one of my favorite topics because, you know, We're all trying to get better. That's one of the reasons why you join me on these Van D podcasts. Not just for the heck of it, but we want to find ways to become better in our lives, either our careers or our personal life or both. So my topic today is very fitting. It's called Time to Reinvent Yourself. So I wrote a newsletter about this at the beginning of March 2021, and this is kind of an exaggeration of it and extension of it um, that I can cover a heck of a lot more than I can cover in a one-page newsletter. So the first thing I want to ask you, and you have to ask yourself, are you happy with where you are right now in your life? Now, you got to be honest. You got to be honest because you're the only one that can answer that question. If you're not happy where you are right this minute, and if you could change one thing or maybe several things about your personal life or your career, would you do it? Well, if your answer is yes, I've got some great news for you because you know what? You can. You can. This is something that we have the God-given ability to do is to change our role, is to change our lives. We can wake up tomorrow morning and we can take baby steps to reinvent ourselves or we can take big steps. That's up to you. So today's podcast, we're going to cover some tidbits, some antidotes, and, and some bullets about how we can reinvent ourselves. A lot of times when people say, I'm going to reinvent myself, they're talking about They want to throw out the old, stale, stagnant, indecisive, unproductive, and happy only once in a while, you. If these are things that that you want to change, well, then you have the ability to do it. If you haven't been as productive as you'd like in your life, you can make that change. If you're only happy once in a while, you can make that change. As Karen Merrick said, it is essential that we continue to grow and change in big or small ways one day at a time. And I really want to emphasize that when a lot of people say, I'm going to make changes in my life, man alive, you're going at it full bore and you're trying to change everything. Well, guess what? Just like going on a a strict diet, it usually doesn't last. So you got it. My recommendation is to take one step at a time. Once you identify areas in your life that need attention, then it's time to start the renovation. Here are some suggestions on how to get going with the new you. First of all, make a list of what you want to add to your life and what you want to subtract from it. And remember, you need to write it down just as you would write down a list of goals. If you write down your reinvention and make a list and look at it every day, you'll be able to hold yourself accountable for making the changes. Now remember, accept the fact that the reinvention process will take a while. There is no quick fixes. You have to take it one day at a time and remember that you are making long-term changes of direction. This isn't a temporary new you. This is what you want to see your life look like. So when you make these changes and reinvent yourself, know that it's for the long haul. So remember this. Marielle Guliano said, just as established products and brands need updating to stay alive and vibrant, you periodically need to refresh or reinvent yourself. And, you know, you hear me use the word renovation. Well, renovation can apply to your home, to your yard, to anything, but it also applies to you. So remember that. And understand that when you start making changes in your life, 
you're going to feel some resistance, okay? Guilt and fear are completely normal. A lot of times you might feel guilt because maybe you're making some changes in your life that exclude humans, certain people out of your life. Resistance is the number one reason people don't make changes, okay? Persevere and work through the resistance. You can do this. Did you know the reason why you haven't made changes is because of resistance? Oh, they have good coffee here at Herd At Media. Get up early in the morning. This is something that I've been preaching my entire life. Get up early in the morning. You get a jump on everybody. Your attitude is different. When you do this, you will have more time for activities, and this will make you a better person, both professionally and personally. Start your day with a positive mindset. Now, you don't have to do what I do, but saying out loud the changes you want to make and what you expect from yourself today, it just resonates, and it's going to stay with you all day. Speaking out loud will bring these changes into your universe much quicker. So as an example, I start each day by telling myself that I will be productive today and I will be a bright light to everyone I come in contact with. It works. Let me repeat that. I say out loud, I will be productive today and I will be a bright light to everyone I come in contact with. If you make that your mission for that day, it will happen. Now, like Harriet Tubman says, every great dream begins with a dreamer. Always remember, you have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars to change the world. Now, I get Thousands of quotes that I look at all the time. Why do I pick these and share them with you? Because they make a difference in our lives. Lives. Every great dream begins with a dreamer. That's so true. So spend time. If you're trying to make changes in your life, let's find ways to make it super easy for you. If you make this difficult, it's because you're not doing the right things to make it easy. First of all, you've got to spend time with like-minded people who are working on becoming better. So if you've been to one or, one or more of my presentations, you've probably heard me say that we, we are the average of the people that we choose to spend the most time with. I probably say that in every live event that I've ever done. We're the average of the five people that we spend the most time with. We pick up their habits, their attitudes, their mindsets. If you hang out with five broke people, five people who are broke, you will be the sixth. If you hang out with five unproductive and lazy people, you will be the sixth. And if you hang out with five positive and forward-thinking people who want to be the who want the best that life has to offer, guess what? You will be the sixth. And you know, when I talk about hanging out with lazy people, I love quoting Proverbs. Because I really believe that Proverbs in the Bible kind of defines what we're here for and what we're doing on this earth. And Proverbs 13:4 says, lazy people want much but get little but those who work hard will prosper. Now, how simple is that? Lazy people don't get what they want. Hard workers do. So my attitude has always been, life is not a dress rehearsal. And you know that. I believe all of us are on stage every second because every second that we're alive, it counts. So let me ask you this. What do you have to lose by deciding what you really want from life and taking action on it to become a reality? I mean, I'm serious, ladies and gentlemen. Those of you that want to make changes in your life, what are you waiting for? Are you waiting for something bad to happen? It's like somebody that gets in a car wreck with a DUI, then they say, I'm going to quit drinking now. 
I mean, are you waiting for something bad to happen before you change your life? No. You can change it now. Now is the time to start reinventing yourself. Reinvent yourself into somebody with the right mindset, the drive, the desire, and the determination to be everything you've always wanted to be. And here's the cool thing. When you make that decision to reinvent yourself, everyone you come in contact with will benefit. They're going to benefit from the positive changes you make. And they're going to benefit from the new person that you've decided to be. So don't just reinvent yourself for you. Do it also for the people who love you, who want to see you reach your full full potential. Why not make this happen now? Everybody benefits. Everybody benefits. So let's, let's continue with the basics of reinventing yourself. Like I said, before you can take the steps to reinvent yourself, you need to look back at where you've been. I'm not saying to constantly revisit the past. I'm not saying that. I'm saying you've got to look back at where you've been, the good, the bad, and the ugly. In other words, look back at your successes and your failures. Without knowing where we've been, I think it's pretty hard to change yourself on where you want to go. And also, there may be several things about your life that you absolutely love that you don't want to change at all. So there's no need to reinvent the characteristics that has shaped that has shaped you and been a positive in your life. Just like anything just like anything in life, change Change only begins with choice. And here's the thing about choice, ladies and gentlemen. Only you can make that choice. I can't tell you how many times in my career I've seen so many people who has wasted their life away, either by a rotten attitude, being extremely negative, being addicted to alcohol or drugs or both. It really makes me sad to see people I care about that I know have this incredible potential that don't care about themselves and they're making poor decisions. Here's the part that really bums me out is these people that make these poor decisions and not trying to be the best they can be, it rubs off on everybody that's close to them. It rubs off on your significant other. It rubs off on your kids, your parents, your employees, your coworkers. If this is you, stop doing what is holding you back. And if it's something that you can't do on your own, ask for help. When are you going to ask people to help you, whether it's a qualified professional or a coach or a mentor or somebody? When are you going to do it if not now? Stop doing what's holding you back or ask for help. It's never, just remember, it's never too late to make a better choice. If you you hear me pausing, it's because I'm drinking coffee and drinking me some water to stay hydrated. So, just remember, we have both the ability and the responsibility to make better choices. And you know when you start making better choices? Today. Those of you who are in the search of a good life, of a great life, do not need more answers or more time to think things over to reach better conclusions. All you need is one word. You know what that one word is? The truth. You need the whole truth. And the reason why is because the truth, like they say, the truth will set you free. You cannot allow your errors in judgment repeated every day to lead you down the wrong path when you know your life can be different. We have to keep coming back to the basics that make the biggest difference in how our life works out. And then we have to make these great choices that will bring life, happiness, and joy into our daily lives. Change 
begins with choice. You can't reinvent yourself and make your life better without you making that choice. And if you want to keep it really simple, extremely simple, if you don't like how things are in your life right now, then change it. Don't expect somebody else to do it for you because they're not going to. They have their own lives to worry about. Life is about constant, predictable patterns of change. And the only constant factor will be our feelings and our attitudes towards life. I want to put a heavy emphasis on attitude. If you have the attitude that you want to live a productive life and reinvent yourself, that's 99% of it. We, all of us as human beings, we have... The power, let me repeat that, we have the power to change our attitude. The power of attitude, that attitude determines choice, and choice determines results. Let me repeat that. We as human beings have the power of changing our attitude. And the attitude we choose determines our choices. And the choices we choose determine our results. That's very, very true. All that we are and all that we can become has begun to left us to decide and determine and interpret through our attitude and choices. Our choices determine our results. When you talk about choice, about making good choices, another key word to remember is growth. Growth. Growth is the heart of reinvention. And we won't fulfill our fullest potential without it. Our lives will be much happier if we cultivate an atmosphere of growth, trying to learn new things, becoming stronger physically or mentally, making new relationships, helping others succeed. Maybe that's what reinventing yourself is all about. Maybe you've never really taken time to help others. Maybe part of your reinvention is to make that a piece of your life. Start helping others. Maybe it's to learn new things. Maybe it's to become stronger physically. Maybe you're going to read more and become stronger mentally. So like I said in the very beginning, reinventing yourself can be done with small steps or making big changes immediately. The choice Choice is the key word. And the cool thing is, is there's no wrong answer. The choice is yours, but there's no wrong answer. If you want to make baby steps or big changes, there's no wrong answer. So in order to piece all of this together to reinvent yourself, I want to share with you that something that works well for me. I've believed in this since I was in my teens. I believe in visualization. I believe in order to make changes and to reinvent yourself, you need to be effective at visualization. So when I visualize, I'm going to give you what I do. Now, yours may be completely different, but this is the concept. Shut off your phones outside voices, noises, don't be on social media. If you have children, go to another room where you're not bothered and spend at least three to five minutes a day. You have three to five minutes a day. Don't tell me you don't because we all have three to five minutes a day to better ourselves. When you're doing visualization, close your eyes and visualize where you'd like to see yourself next week, next month, next year, and so on. When you're doing this, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just telling you it works, it works, it works, it works. I owe a lot of my successful career to visualization. When you're doing this, take a deep breath. Take a deep breath and put a smile on your face. I know it sounds weird. You're going to be in a room by yourself, and you're going to be putting a big old smile on your face. The reason why I want you to put a smile on your face because it's going to help you enjoy the journey that you're visualizing inside. 
when you see what you want your life to look like in your head, now is the time to see this vision on a daily basis as much as possible. And the way we do that is now you need to write it down. After you visualize this on where you see yourself, write what you saw, write it on paper. You can reinvent yourself without seeing what you need to do before you get there. Write it down, and this way you'll be able to take a look at it every day, and it'll be soaked in your mind of where you want to go and what your reinvention is all about. Just remember, it's never too late to become what you've always wanted to be. Maybe a part of reinventing yourself is finding ways to benefit others. Like I said earlier, maybe you want to help others. Maybe you join a nonprofit and be on a committee. Maybe you sign up to be a volunteer at your church or at a retirement home. The possibilities are endless with what entities that need help. And you will meet new people along the way, which could mean more opportunities for you. Every time I meet new people, there always seems to be a a new opportunity at some point. And like I said earlier, I really want to go back to this. The number one culprit that stops people from making changes and reinventing themselves is resistance. Resistance is full of unfounded fear and unreasonable It is unreasonable and irrational. You should resist staying the same. That's what resistance should mean to you. You should resist staying the same and not changing for the better. So the more you visualize where you want to see yourself, the less resistance you will have because you want to get there. You want to be that person. Any expert will tell you that people don't change because of resistance. So I say to overcome resistance, visualize where you want to be. And that will give you less resistance to be there. So as Stephen Pressfield says it best, he says, most of us have two lives. Now think about this. Most of us have two lives. The life we live and the unlived life within us. Between the two stands resistance. What is the resistance that's keeping you from living the unlived life that you know is going to make your life better, personally and in your career? So what this quote is saying, at least what this quote is saying to me is, if you daydream about a letter about a better life you are experiencing wanting that unlived life and like i've said before remember this daydreaming and dreams are just a prelude to reality why do you think you are daydreaming why do you think you have dreams at night about this happy place that you want to enter and this kind of life that you want to live Because daydreaming and dreams are just a prelude to reality. You are supposed to be this person. You're supposed to live this life. I truly believe that God wants us all to live like kings and queens, but he can't force us. You have to be that person that says, I'm making a choice today. I'm going to change. I'm going to make small steps or I'm going to make big steps. Just do something. Don't be stagnant. Don't resist this great life that you have the opportunity to live. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so grateful that you spend time with me today on this topic. It's one of my favorite is to help people reinvent themselves and get more of a positive attitude. So continue, please continue to listen to my podcast and go back and listen to them from a year or two ago. These topics are all there to help you. So I'm going to ask you to please, please sign up and subscribe to my podcast. You can either do it at Apple or Spotify 
or go to my website, vandeeb.com, check out my books. They're all to benefit you. My experiences, my failures, my successes are all there for you to learn from. And I would love to come speak to your company, either in person or on a Zoom call. I want to help you live the best life you ever had. And reinventing yourself, watch what happens when you make this decision. I'm so grateful you joined me today. Have an awesome day. A Huda Media Production.